Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Cypress tutorial, we are on the step two of the Cypress installation. So step one we have done, we have checked the system requirements, install Node.js and preferred ID, which is Visual Studio Code. Now, what is the step two? We need to have the Cypress installed on our machine so that we can start writing our first test case, right? So let's go ahead and install Cypress, which is step two. Make sure you have all this step one completed before you move to next step, right? And you will see that here they also mention this that on the official website of Cypress, you will see that we are installing Cypress. And then what all we are going to do, we'll install Cypress via NPM. Okay, there are different ways to install Cypress, but we'll follow the node package manager way to install it. You can also directly download Cypress and set it up. And then you will also version um, Cypress and run via package.json. Okay, so we'll start with the NPM and make sure that you have all the system requirement, which is basically what I have covered here. Okay, checking the system requirement, installing Node.js and the ID. Now let's go ahead and install Cypress. Installing Cypress is absolutely simple, no issues at all. You simply have to run the command npm install and Cypress and then this is the command basically that you have to run in order to install Cypress as a dev dependency in our project, right? So first we have to go to our project. We have to create some project, right? Now how we are going to create a project? You simply create a folder, all right? or we'll simply go to the VS code, right? Visual Studio code, we'll open Visual Studio code. Now from here on, it doesn't matter which platform you are on, whether Linux, Mac OS or Windows, everything will look absolutely similar. So you'll see that we have different themes, all right? And then you can choose a different theme. So I'll say, okay, like high contrast and I'll say mom. Okay. Now here, simply I'll go ahead and close it. Okay, so this is the VS code editor. So now from here, I'll simply go ahead to the file and I'll say open folder. Okay, you can do it manually as well. So I'll simply create a new folder. So I'll go to a workspace somewhere. I'll say on the desktop and I'll create a new folder as Cypress automation. And I'll simply say select folder. And that's pretty much it. So either ways you can directly open Visual Studio Code and say open folder and then create using the steps that I have shown or simply go to that particular location. For example, on the desktop, if I go back, if I say on the desktop, you simply right click and then create a folder there. And then from the VS code, you simply go ahead and import it, right? So I'll say, yes, I trust the author, okay? So I've created that. So this is one way wherein I have got to the file and then said open folder and created a folder. But then you can also go ahead and create a new folder simply using the Windows utils. So right click create folder. Okay. And once the folder has been created from Visual Studio Code, you can simply go to the file and then say open folder and simply select whichever folder that you have created, select and open it. Okay. So now you will see that Cypress automation folder is created okay now what is the next step right what is the next step to basically go ahead and install cypress so let's go to their website and see what exactly they are mentioning right so you'll see that through the npm install you will see we can simply install the cypress right but before that you will see that there is a make sure that you have already run a node package manager in it right initialized it or have node modules folder or packet dot dot json file in the root of your project to ensure cypress is installed in the correct directory so prior to this install you have to make sure that we run this npm in it first so that our folder or package is basically correctly initialized right so in order to initialize this we can basically go to the folder here itself okay and then from the VS code, I'll simply go and say open terminal. Okay, so I'll say new terminal. All right. And you will see here in the terminal, I'm already in the. So when you open the terminal, you'll see that it all, all automatically will open the terminal at the particular location, right? So now here, this PowerShell, we have to simply, what we have to do, we have to say npm in it. Okay, before we go ahead and install the Cypress, we have to npm we have we have to run the command npm in it okay let me see if i can expand or make the fonts big i'll say view the terminal okay so bit better i'll minimize this and we'll say npm in it npm in it so this is the first command that we have to run okay so you'll see that this utility will walk you through creating a package.json file which is the important file that we need to have and that's why we are initializing this particular 
folder okay which will create the package right so you'll see that you will get the help and then you'll get other details so you'll see the package name that we are initializing cypress automation so that's fine we'll simply go ahead and hit enter version is 1.0.0 that's fine keep entering if you want to put any description there you put it there so i'll say rcv cypress automation okay and then entry point just hit enter test command enter git repo as of now we don't have anything so i will keep it as is okay and then enter any keywords enter author i'll say my name and then just keep it as is and you'll see that a json file has been created with the details that i have specified right and is that okay if everything looks fine simply say yes okay and then you will see that it has been initialized all right so now the initialization has happened okay and now if we go back here and just maximize you'll see the package.json got created here okay so this folder is now initialized and package.json is available here now what we need to do we simply the next step is i'll clear the screen and the next step is now to install cypress to install cypress we simply have to say node package manager install cypress and this particular command so i'll simply copy it okay after doing npm in it i'll simply copy this and then go to the terminal here again in the vs code and paste that okay right click it will paste it and then simply hit enter and then you will see that the cypress installation will begin as a dev dependency within this particular project right it might take a little time there so it has started installing right and here you will see that node modules folder got created in the left hand side so what it is doing is basically downloading all the dependencies of the cypress and putting it in the node module similar to what we have seen in selenium with java when we create the maven um, a project and we put the dependencies into the form.xml and all the dependencies get downloaded right so that's the similar thing that is happening here so if we have to create something or some recipe right we have to get the ingredients first so that is what basically when we say dependencies we are getting all the ingredients so we can build our recipe which is automating the test cases so in java we had the when we use the maven repo to get the dependencies now here in node or in cypress we have the node or node packet manager which gets all the dependencies for this cypress okay so once the installation has been successful you'll see that the packages um, how many packages have been added right so you'll see that there is another uh, package log dot json and then all the modules you'll see in the node modules you'll see all the modules that are required for the cypress automation are available in the node module folder okay so this is briefly how you are going to install right so this is installed as a local uh, locally as a dev dependency for the project okay now if we go back you will see that there are different options okay different options as well to install the cypress once the installation is successful the next step is basically to open the app okay so if you go to open the app we have uh, already installed through npm okay now in order to open the app we have to understand some of the commands right so we can open the cypress from the command line okay and then simply we have to do cypress open okay using npx yarn all right so we simply have to put this npx cypress open and this will open the app the cypress app okay so you'll see that we have this browser testing okay end to end testing if we go to the pro pro product here this is the app that will be available okay so this app will be open so we'll simply go here from the command line itself let me minimize this and i'll simply go ahead and run the command which is mentioned here so we'll say npx cypress open okay and simply run this so you'll see that it looks like you this is your first time using cypress this is the version that is uh, showing here and you will see that verified uh, cypress and then it is opening cypress so that's how the message will appear and you see you will see the window has popped up okay and you will see that we have a complete change log here okay and what's new in cypress everything is available here on this particular window if you want you can go ahead and view the full change log okay or simply go ahead and continue and you will be landed on this particular screen wherein you have the welcome and then the option basically what exactly you want to go ahead and do end-to-end -end testing or component testing right so as the qa engineer has the software development engineering test as debts will be doing end-to-end -end testing 
right and we'll be learning how to do end-to-end -end testing ui testing within cypress you can go ahead with the to this link and see the difference between both but mostly component testing is more of specific screen testing different validations on the screen and more for the uh, unit level or the developer when they are doing end-to-end -end testing is more for the automation that we as a qa or as debts will be okay so this is briefly the step two okay so step one was the prereq step two cypress installation prior to cypress installation what we did so it was let me put all the commands here as well so you don't forget all right that we have to follow it in a specific way we have to first initialize right so we have to first do the npm in it that's the very very important step all right so we have to do i'll say a npm in it okay and then step b is to run the command npm install right so that's the second command now once this directory that you have created from visual studio code has been initialized with npm in it will create a package.json file right package.json and then you will run the command which is basically installing cypress as a dev dependency and then the third step is to launch the app all right so what was the third step to launch the app open the app and opening the app was command npx cypress open okay so i'll put that here as well all right so this is the installation of cypress this is the prerequisite step one step two cypress installation process create a folder through visual studio code okay initialize that particular project folder wherein you will be having your test cases and then install cypress which will install all the dev dependencies or dependencies for the cypress and then open the cypress app which will open this particular page here and then we'll start configuring and doing our first test case within cypress so that's all for the installation and setup part so you can imagine in just a couple of videos we are up and running and in the next video we'll be writing our test case right so it's pretty exciting journey overall let's quickly deep dive into the first test case and start learning cypress so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching